Hello viewers. Welcome to Moringa Rabbit. Um, today we are going to learn how to prepare feed for our rabbits. So we have all the constituents here. We are going to see how we can mix them together to get a nice formulation for our rabbits. So this is wheat bran. Um, and the wheat bran, the purpose is to give them fiber. That's the, the main purpose of the wheat bran, fiber. Then we have soya. This one is soya here. And soya gives them a lot of protein. Then we have fish. This one is fish chaff. We have fish chaff. This is how it looks like. So the fish chaff also gives them protein. We have um, this one is cocoa chaff. The cocoa chaff is here. It gives them carbohydrate. So we are going to mix all this. After that, then we add salt. And as we all know, salt gives iodine. Thank you. So, so you pour your wheat bran. Get your wheat bran. Then get your kutcha. Add your kutcha. You make sure the quantity. Quantity is the same. Then the one aside, you get your face chaff. Get your face chaff. Good. Add a bit more. Good. Get your soya. Good. Then, so you can decide to mix it. After the mixing, then you add your salt. So with the mixing, you go in this way. With your salt, it must be iodine salt. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Um, some people have a problem with the salt. What you do is, when you mix, you taste it. You taste it. So, when you feel the salt, that's okay. If you feel it too much, it's just like in your food. When you, you it tastes too much, then you need to add some of the formation. So you taste it. If it's less, you add more of the salt. If it's okay for you, then definitely it's okay for your rabbits. Um, 
this is Moringa. No wonder um, the name for our farm is Moringa. Moringa does a lot of wonders. And as we all know, it's the magic leaf. As it is good for humans, it's also good for rabbits. I've tested and came to realize that Moringa is very good for rabbits. It increases the littering rate, the birth rate, fertility, and then most of the food nutrients. It contains protein, it contains um, a lot of the food nutrients for your rabbit. So what you do is you get it, you dry it, and then after you mix the feed, then you add the moringa. You add the moringa leaves, the dried ones, to the food. So this is what you do. So somebody will ask what should be the quantity. Now you just need to mix. When you mix to the extent that anyone that at first glance you can see that there are some greens with a uh, mix with the feed. It's okay. You don't need to do it too much. Just do it relatively and you are good to go. This way they, 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 they get to utilize it more than when you are to be giving the leaves itself for them. Um, with the dry leaves, where you give this way, they pour it away. And then, but when it is mixed with the, the feed, it means that they eat it regularly. And it will do wonders for your farm. It, you can use that formula and you always get the best formulation feed for your rabbits. And I can tell you, within three months, you can get your 1.5 to 2 kgs. And that's very wonderful. So, thank you. If you enjoy it, subscribe and then share it and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and then uh, YouTube as you are just watching. Thank you.